Messi is to take one and action. Hello and welcome to Messi Church. This week is a special week for Christians. We are remembering the last week of Jesus, how he died on the cross today, Good Friday, and how in two days time on Easter Sunday, we hear the next part of the story, that God raised Jesus to a new kind of life that we call resurrection. Today's messy church is packed full of Easter activities and crafts for you and your family to do. The story of Jesus at Easter reminds us that God knows what it's like to be human, that God loves us so much that he died for us, and that God promises us all the gift of new life when we follow Jesus. And you might notice that there's a little birthday cake just down there. Today is the first birthday of our online Messy Church. So well done if you stuck with us through the year. And if you've joined Messy Church since we've gone online, a massive welcome. So let's get started with Messy Church, Messy Easter. Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey on Palm Sunday and the people waved palm branches. Here you can make your own palm to wave. For this activity, you'll need green paper, pencil and scissors. If you don't have green paper, use white and a green pen or crayon. Take your piece of paper and fold it in half lengthways. Then, making sure you start at the folded side, take your pencil and draw a big semicircle shape down the page. This is going to be your leaf. Make sure you leave a little bit at the end and draw a stem. Now take your scissors and cut out your leaf shape like this. Take your pencil and draw some lines diagonally down your leaf. Then just draw another line next to it so you make little tiny triangles. Cut them out so that your leaf looks like this. Now you have your very own palm branch to wave. The people shouted, Hosanna, which means God save us. Jesus rode into the city as a king. A few days later, Jesus fell out of favour with the rulers and they put him to death on a cross. But on Easter morning, something amazing happened. Here you can make your very own Alleluia sunrise to celebrate that Jesus is risen. You'll need a paper plate, coloured pens, black and yellow paper, glue and scissors. Use your felt tip pens to colour in a sunrise scene on your picture. Start with a yellow semicircle, just like this. Then add other colours until you have a beautiful morning sunrise scene. Next, take your yellow paper and draw around your hand and cut it out. Stick this onto your picture. This is the rays of the morning sun. Take your black paper and roughly draw around your plate so that when you cut it out, it will fill the bottom half of your scene like this. On another piece of black paper, draw the outline of a cross. Doesn't have to be perfect. And cut that out too. Use glue to stick your cross and your ground onto the picture. Now we're going to write a special Easter message on our picture. I'm going to write along the top, Jesus is risen, the message of the angels on Easter morning. Then underneath, I'm going to write another message, our special Easter word, Alleluia. It means praise God and you spell it like this. Hang your picture high in your house to remind you of the good news of Easter that Jesus lives. 
know that a symbol of Easter is the butterfly. Just as the butterfly comes out of its chrysalis transformed, so Jesus came out of the tomb filled with God's new resurrection life. Here, you can make your own resurrection butterfly. You'll need paper and pencil, paint and brushes. Take your piece of paper and fold it in half so that it looks like this. Now open it again and take your pencil. Now on one half you're going to draw half of a butterfly, so half a head and one antennae. Then you're going to draw half your butterfly's body. And then your butterfly's beautiful wings. Next, take your paint and paint the half of your butterfly's body that you've drawn. You can decorate your butterfly however you like. I'm decorating around the edge of my wings in red. And then decorating it with blue spots red spots and gold spots. You need to paint quite quickly so that the paint doesn't have time to dry. When you are happy with your butterfly, turn the paper over and press down as hard as you can all over the page. When you open it up again, you'll find that the picture you painted has printed on the other side of the page a beautiful resurrection butterfly. The new life in the Easter story is reflected in the world around us. Here you can make your very own Easter tree full of new life. You'll need a vase, some needle and thread, paper or card and whatever craft things you've got in your house. First, you're going to need some sticks for your Easter tree. Gather them together and arrange them in a vase. We always use old twigs for an Easter tree. Next, you're going to make your decorations. You can do whatever you like, but I'm going to start with some Easter eggs. The egg is also a symbol of Easter. Just as the egg breaks and the little chick comes out from the inside, so Jesus broke open the tomb and came out full of God's new life. I'm going to decorate my eggs with felt pens. You could also draw images from the Easter story to decorate your tree. Here I've drawn a cross and a cockerel. and a cup of wine with some bread. Colour them in and then cut them out. You can also use other craft equipment that you've got in your house. Once you've finished, take a needle and thread and your decorations and poke through the top of your decoration with a needle. You might need your adult to help you with this. Pull the thread through your decoration and tie a knot so that you can hang your decoration on your Easter tree. Perhaps you could put your Easter tree up in your house to remind you of the new life of Easter. On Easter morning, you could even add a few fresh flowers. Don't forget to add water into the bottom of your vase. Easter is the story of the transforming power of the cross. Here you can make your own cross-shaped nature frame. You'll need an old cereal packet, scissors, pencil and ruler. Open up your cereal packet so that you've got a nice big piece of cardboard to work from. Take your ruler in the centre of your card and draw all the way round it. Like this. Then turn your ruler round and draw the top part of your cross. Again, just draw around the thickness of the ruler. 
carefully cut your cross shape out of the centre of the page. You might need your adult to help you with this. Now you can rub out the edges of the cross if you can still see your pencil marks and cut out the square of cardboard from the box so that you end up with something that looks like this. This is your nature frame. Let this be your reminder of the transforming power of the cross. Take your frame outside and hold it towards something that is bursting with life. The cross is transformed and filled with the promise of hope. What wonderful pictures will you take with your nature frame of new life? I hope you enjoyed all those wonderful crafts and activities. Now it's time for our celebration service. The road to Easter was a rocky one for Jesus. And so today I'm heading to my kitchen to make Easter rocky road cake. As we make it, we'll hear the Easter story. This is something you could do at home during the Easter holidays if you wanted to. And don't feel you need all the ingredients I've got. Use whatever you've got in your house. This is the rocky road to Easter. If you want to make this later, you'll need measuring scales, bowls and spoons. You'll need a selection of sweets, 400 grams of chocolate, five digestive biscuits, a baking tray, a knife and greaseproof paper. First job, you need to line your baking tray. I've done mine by cutting a square for the bottom and then strips to stick round the outside. First, take some green sweets. I've used M&Ms, but you could use whatever you can find. These represent the green palm leaves that people waved. Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey and people waved palm branches because he was the king. They also threw their cloaks on the road. You could add some coloured sweets to represent these. That reminds me of a song. If you know this song, join in too. We have a king who rides a donkey, we have a king who rides a donkey, we have a king who rides a donkey, and his name is Jesus. Jesus, the king is risen, Jesus, the king is risen, Jesus, the king is risen early in the morning. Next, weigh out your 400 grams of chocolate. The day after he rode into Jerusalem on the donkey, Jesus went into the temple. There he got very angry because people were not treating the temple as God's house of prayer. Break up your chocolate in your bowl, remembering how Jesus got really angry and turned over the tables in the temple. It made Jesus very unpopular with the religious leaders. We have a king who knocks down tables. We have a king who knocks down tables. We have a king who down tables and his name is Jesus. Jesus, the King is risen. Jesus, the King is risen. Jesus, the King is risen early in the morning. Next, I'm going to use silver balls in my mix. Jesus's friend Judas, who was one of his 12 best friends, went to the religious leaders and said, what will you give me if I betray Jesus to you? and they offered him 30 pieces of silver. Add the silver balls to your mixture to remind you of Judas's betrayal. We have a king betrayed by Judas. We have a king betrayed by Judas. We have a king betrayed by Judas. Sold for 30 pennies. Take five digestive biscuits, add them into your bowl and break them in your hand. On Thursday, Jesus had a special meal with his friends. During the meal, he took bread and broke it. He said, this is my body. At the end of the meal, he took wine. I'm using glacé cherries. Put about 12 into your mixture. 
Jesus said, this wine is a new promise, a new relationship with God. And it's starting in me. A loaf and a cup upon a table, a loaf and a cup upon a table, a loaf and a cup upon a table, bread and wine is Jesus. Jesus, the King is risen, Jesus, the King is risen, Jesus, the King is risen early in the morning. Because Judas betrayed him, the soldiers came and took Jesus away. Peter, his friend, followed him. In the courtyard, people asked Peter three times if he was a follower of Jesus. And three times, Peter said no. We're going to use Mars bars now because they've got three layers in them to remind us of the three times Peter said he didn't know Jesus. Chop up your Mars bars and add them to your mix. I know no king called Jesus. Jesus, the king is risen, Jesus, the king is risen, Jesus, the king is risen early in the morning. The soldiers put Jesus on a cross and he died. I'm going to use white marshmallows next because Jesus' body was taken down and wrapped in linen cloths. I'm using about 80 grams of marshmallows and adding them to the Rocky Road mix. Jesus' body was wrapped in linen, Jesus' body was wrapped in linen, Jesus' body was wrapped in linen, no more king called Jesus. Jesus, the king is risen, Jesus, the king is risen, Jesus, the king is risen early in the morning. When they'd wrapped Jesus' body in linen, they laid it in a cave and rolled a big round stone over the entrance. I'm adding a bag of Maltesers to my mix to remind me of that big round stone. Big round stone across a cave, big round stone across a cave, big round stone across a cave to bury their king called Jesus. There, the story pauses for a whole day. So take this opportunity to take the chocolate that you broke earlier and melt it. You can do this in a microwave for a minute or over a pan of hot water. When it comes out, it will be lovely and gloopy, just like this. Pour your melted chocolate over your Rocky Road mix and mix it up really well. Then carefully spoon your mix into your baking tray. Now I'm going to add a final touch to my Rocky Road cake because on the Sunday something amazing happened. Jesus' friends went to the tomb and he was not there. Instead, there were angels there who told them that Jesus was alive. And so I'm adding Easter eggs to the top of my Rocky Road cake to remind me of the new life of Easter. Jesus live, shout, Alleluia! Jesus live, shout, Alleluia! Jesus live, shout, Alleluia! Praise the King called Jesus. Jesus, the King is risen. Jesus, the King is risen. Jesus, the King is risen early in the morning. Pop your Easter cake in the fridge for half an hour. While you do the dishes. After about 30 minutes, get it out and use a blunt knife to cut into pieces. Now you can share and enjoy your rocky road to Easter cake. Can you spot all the different things that we put in it? Can you remember what happened in the Easter story? It's time to say our prayers and today we're going to say a handful of prayers. Show me your hand. Is your hand big? Have you just got a little hand? Did you know that you have 27 bones in your hand and that picking up a spoon and eating it uses more than 30 joints and 50 muscles? 
Your hands are amazing and so useful. Can you think of things that you use your hands for? What's one of the things you thought of? Praying. Well, we can use our hands to say our prayers and that's what we're going to do today. Let's start with our thumb. Can you wiggle your thumb? Look how our thumb is set apart from the rest of our fingers. So now with our thumbs, we're going to pray for people who are set apart from others. Maybe they're people who work away from home. Maybe they're living in a care home. Maybe they're people we just haven't been able to see this past year. Do you know someone who has been set apart from you for a while? Say their names out loud now. We pray for everyone who is apart from their family and friends. Now let's look at our pointy fingers. Can you wiggle your pointy finger? This pointy finger is the one in charge. We like to point, don't we? Like this. So this finger we're going to use to pray for all those who are in charge. They might be teachers, policemen, leaders. Who do you know who is in charge? We pray for everyone who is in charge. Help them in their important work. Now look at your middle finger. Standing taller than all the others, isn't it? Just like a lookout. So with this finger, we're going to pray for people who look out for other people. Maybe they're doctors or nurses or ambulance drivers. Maybe they are dentists or firefighters or shopkeepers. Who do you know who looks out for other people? Say their names out loud now. Father God, we pray for those who look out and care for other people. Now look at your ring finger. This is the finger you might wear a ring on if you were married. So with this finger, we're going to pray for our families and our friends. Who's in your family? Say their names out loud now. We pray, Father, for our families and friends. Finally, look at your little finger. This little finger is for you. So we're gonna say your prayer now. What would you like to ask God for help with? Say it out loud now. So with our hands, we've got a whole handful of prayers for those who are apart from others, those who are in charge, those who look out for others, our family and our friends and ourselves. We pray for all these people that they may know the good news of Easter and the joy of new life in Jesus. Thank you so much for joining our messy Easter service today. I hope you've enjoyed yourself, all the different activities and singing and prayers. As ever, we'd love to see what you've made. So if you've taken photos of your creations, do email them to me at teamvicar.kwtm at gmail.com or post photos below. I wish you and your family a happy and blessed Easter. Jesus is risen. Alleluia. That's a wrap.